Hi, and welcome to another episode of Raja Talking Live. Thank you for being with me here today. And I would like first to start by thanking you all for sharing the channel and for liking the videos, for your questions, your comments, and your feedback. The only way I can get better and offer you more of what you want is if you communicate that message with me. So please always comment and let me know what kind of subjects or topics that you would like to talk about. Today's video is inspired by one of my viewers who asked me to talk some more about gratitude. I usually talk about gratitude on this channel and all my other channels and social media. However, probably it is about time now to talk some more about it just as a reminder, particularly during those difficult times that we are going through. I've done a video before about gratitude, but today I would like to reiterate that message again. This is our second year dealing with COVID. A lot of people have lost jobs, they have lost loved ones. There has been a lot that has been going on in our lives, a lot of stress, a lot of mental uh, health issues. So all of this is gonna put us in this place where we think that Everything around us is going terrible and the world is not a good place to live in anymore. However, if we take just a step back and look at our lives and what's going on in the world, we can find always something that is positive and something that we are grateful for. A lot of things that happen to us happen for a reason. As a spiritual person, I believe in that. There is a reason and there is divine order and there is a higher power that has our best interest uh, at all the time that they're looking at, whoever is the higher power is. So anyway, back to the gratitude. Practicing gratitude and having an attitude of gratitude is a very healthy thing for us. It's not just gonna make us feel better about ourselves, but it's gonna direct our mind to think more about the positive things that are happening into our lives. Happy thoughts create happy emotions, and hence it's gonna reflect on our behavior. Therefore, it is paramount for us to look for all the little things that we are grateful for in life. For example, like now with this whole COVID, with the emergency state that we have in Ontario, and I don't know, in the rest of the world, maybe you have something like that as well. But with the orders that we have to stay home and we cannot travel, we cannot go out unless it is necessary, Look at all the people that don't have a roof on top of their head. They have nowhere to call home. So even if it's just for that little thing that we have a roof on top of our head, we should be grateful for that. We should be grateful for so many good things. Yes, there is the bad. There's the ugly. There are terrible things that are happening. However, there is also the good. There are a lot of good things that are happening in our lives, in the world. So let us just bring the mind's attention to that and in that direction, rather than thinking in the negative direction. It is very easy with all the media and everything we hear around us to think negatively and think that everything is going wrong. So why don't we today just think about ourselves? Let us start with ourselves, with our own uh, family, the small circle that we have, and let us be grateful to whatever we have in our lives. If we still have a job, that's an amazing thing to be grateful for. If we are healthy, 
that's another thing. Look for things that you appreciate in your life, things that you value, that makes a difference for you and matters to you. And that is the best way to be grateful. So why we keep talking about the great being grateful and having that attitude? Again, when we are grateful, that reflects in our own energy. Being grateful is a higher vibrational energy. So if you are vibrating at that frequency, you are going to feel better. You are going to feel that your aura is expanding. You will be feeling healthier at the emotional, mental, spiritual level and all your being. So today, let us be thankful for all the things that we have in our lives. Think about anything that can bring you happiness today and maybe you can start writing down in your gratitude uh, journal what are you grateful for? Start this practice just a few minutes a day. It's not going to take you long. When you wake up in the morning, before you even get out of bed, have your notebook next to you, have your journal next to you, and start writing down three things that you're grateful for. And at the end of the day, you can do the same thing. So three things I'm grateful for in the morning, three things I'm grateful for before I go to sleep. So what does this do? During the day, if I start the day with the gratitude attitude, then my brain is going to always be looking for something to be grateful for and something positive in my life. And when I go to bed at night and I talk about the gratitude and I write it down, then when I go to sleep, again, at the subconscious level, I'll be thinking of good things and that will reflect again on the energy that we have in our own aura the energy that we attract into our lives you remember the law of attraction if you have that kind of energy you're gonna attract more things that you are grateful for so thank you so much again i love you all thank you for subscribing thank you for sharing thank you for giving me the thumbs up and i would welcome any of your comments so we can spread more of higher vibration and positive energy around and in the community thank you be blessed i love you take care bye bye